and Newcastle, well, they're looking to refine before next week's opening weekend, the finals. That's the way they line up today. Rests for Tyson Frizzell. So Arso Sue out with a hamstring problem. Brisbane, NRL career comes to an end. He'll walk out with his children, Miller, Giselle and Oakley, partner Gemma, very proud watching on. But well done, Alex Glenn. And let's bring in a man who played with Alex for eight seasons. They played 168 games as Broncos together. Corey Parker, good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon, gentlemen. As we see Alex Glenn go out for the final time in his NRL career in game 285. In a broken well, down sorry. blue Subaru. He's upgraded since then after a glittering career. His Super Saturday is underway. The Broncos looking to farewell a raft of players and Newcastle with finals in mind looking for a confidence boosting performance especially in the spine the coach saying they played a little tight through necessity it was twice as many post contact meters as any other player in the game when they met Cronulla Milford goes high again out towards Inari Tuala who doesn't win the jump Xavier Coates can't take the ball picked up by Kelly Kobe Hetherington Dives in under the crossbar. Brisbane stay alive. Play to the whistle and claim the try. Yes, definitely play to the whistle. I love it. We're going to see this contest again. It's a beautiful kick at the end of the set. Good field position. Milford again hits it beautifully. He really kicks it out of the park. Referee was in a really good position there to rule if that ball went forward. And he believed that it didn't and went backwards. And as you said, play on, play to the whistle. And the Broncos did. Gets a nice little off wide to his middle forward. And under he goes for a beautiful, beautiful try. Yeah, wonderful kick and start to the game from Anthony Milford. We spoke about Alex Glenn and this being his last game retiring. Obviously, Anthony Milford and this man on screen, Xavier Coates, will be moving on out of Bronco Colours next year. Herbie Farnworth with the conversion attempt from right in front. It's good. Plays the ball. Not convincing, but it works. Yeah, any way you can do it, just grab it. Inari Tuala bursts through. In behind the line, Tuala comes to Tessie New. Gives it to Kelly and says, let's attack back the other way. Milford got away from Pierce, quick hands new. Farnworth out for Oates, who skids in. Corey crosses again. Brisbane have their second, and it's Corey Oates in his 14th game of the season, getting his fourth four-pointer of the campaign. Yeah, they went to the right and Kelly come across and Mitchell Pearce ran up and tried to shut the play down, but Milford was good enough to get in behind him. And some really nice passes and the big fella gets down low and momentum gets him across the try line. And as Corey outlined, he'd love to play Newcastle every week. He's done so well against them. That's a fantastic strike from Farnworth. 12-0, Corey Oates. Pierce says, let's explore down this left side. Clifford, the kick through the fingers of Brisbane. It's still there and cleaned up by New. Well, he's playing his 20th club game of the season, Corey. And it will finish short. As you look at the replay here, the point of his foot just dug into the surface and his body weight went over the top of it. Yeah, such a big, powerful man and running and then stopping so quickly with some, you know, obviously he's got best on his back as well, so looks like to be an ankle injury. His first game since round 19. Kelly measures the kick. It will come down in the end goal. Xavier Coates was up above them all, but couldn't complete the catch. You have an escort, so you're starting penalty. Okay. And being down in Melbourne with the coaching, coaching he's going to get, he's going to get some goal, AFL. Now Pierce, he kicks into the air, an air swing by the Knights. It's pushed backwards to Ponga. Ponga with Tuala outside, and Nari Tuala gets the ball away, and Best gets there just. They made it awkward, but Best thinks he scored. Jake Clifford, does it touch him and go forward to the ground here? Through his hands into Albert Kelly. Is that a Jake knock Jake Clifford on? has touched the ball in the contest and it's gone forward. Spot on, Matt. Now Randall to Pierce. Here's Ponga to the line. Long for Inari Tawala. That's 
better, boys. That's the Newcastle we've seen glimpses of. Pierce Ponga, long to Tuala. Yeah, that's what the coach will be happy with, seeing this type of shift play. It's a set play. They come out, they go one under, one lead, a long ball to Mitch, from Mitchell to his fullback, and that's his favourite side, and a fantastic pass. Jake Clifford, three from three last week. And he starts this one by bringing it to the left of the target. 12-4 Brisbane. And they were away. Here they are in the final round playing for the top four men. Farnworth in and away. Herbie Farnworth shows us some speed. Now the kick. Mitch Pearce battling. They're coming hard. Tessie New. Remarkable. The one-handed take to finish the try. Tessie New. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Great try, Brisbane Broncos. Yeah, you hear about the green shoots that they talk about. It was a wonderful hands from Tessie New. He picks this up beautifully. Ooh, does he let go of that? I'm not sure, but we're going to have a look at it. But the wonderful setup. Tessie New loses control of the ball in grounding attempt. We have a decision. Pikes to Milford. Now New grabbers and chases Herbie Farnworth. They can't deny him this time. Herbie Farnworth after the delicate kick from Tessie New. It was subtle, but it's a thing of beauty for Broncos fans. Well, this is what the future is going to look like for the Broncos. This is going to happen many times in the future. Tessie New, he's got the pass, but he goes to the kick option now. And his centre's there, ready to pounce on that ball. And striking them nicely with his limited NRL kicking and look at this one case in point black dot perfect Randall to Pierce here's Ponga long to Tuala who dives to the corner and lands A-OK -okay for the second time Xavier Coates does enough and easily so yeah, well done, Xavier. He attacked the arms of the ball lost carrier. Of the ball and it's hit the corner post. We have a decision. Jake Turpin has broken his jaw, so he won't return in this second half either. So Jake Turpin has broken his jaw and also Payne Haas high ankle sprain. Goodness me! What blows for Brisbane? Now it's the end of their season anyway, but you don't wish injuries on any players and injuries that are going to affect their preparation for next season as Cotto gets the ball away for Anthony Milford in his final game as a Brisbane Bronco to race over, throw it into the crowd and to receive that sort of congratulations. Well done, Anthony Milford. Yes, yeah, so a good play from the Brisbane Broncos. They held him out in that first and it wasn't the ideal start for him. He got a terrible bounce or catch off the kickoff. He didn't get to it and knocked it on and they had to defend their set, but he bounced back, hits his center on a beautiful line against some poor defense by Bradman Vest there. There's a set restart here, just the second of the game. It goes in favor of Newcastle, Clemmer. Just walking into the tackle of Alex Glenn and here's a problem. Here's a big problem for Clemmer. Ball away. Milford trying to get away and almost is. He sits the ball looking for Rabati. Newcastle clean up. But we'll need to check here on David Clemmer. That's the Albert Kelly tackle in and around the ribs. That third man in. All legal, but I think, yeah, it's either rib or rib cartilage. It's in a lot of discomfort. Or it's before they're even contact. Well, that's post-contact, yes. Yeah, uh, you, you identified it perfectly. It was Albert Kelly, and then as he tried to go again. Watson, Phoenix Crossland is the man onto the field. The grabber down towards Corey Oates, who can't take it. But Stafford Toakan, the mistake by the Broncos, gives Newcastle their second try of the game. Oh, what a wicked bounce for the big winger. It was a beautiful kick put, put through by Crossland and a good chase as well. Just in case the chase was, just in case if we get this bounce, get down there, put some pressure on the big fella. He would have heard him coming. Just to cut it back to 14. Needs to hold its line. It does for long enough. Against St. George Illawarra. Blake Taff in that fullback roll. Intercept. 
Selwyn Cobbo. You won't catch Selwyn. He's a speedster. He's away. The intercept finished at the other end of the field. The young brigade of these Brisbane Broncos are having a big day out. Selwyn Cobbo pounces and leaves the Knights in his wake. Great anticipation by the young centre. He put himself in the perfect position, put himself right in between the ball. He knew it was coming. He just had to make the catch, and he knew he had the speed, and he had another speedster on the inside supporting him as well. What a physique. Classic build for an outside back centre, and only getting better every game he plays. Yeah, the Brisbane Broncos have had some wonderful outside backs. Justin Hodges brings to mind. Now Farnworth just keeps knocking them over. Pakes to Kelly. Now Milford. It opens up for the Milford again. Support on the inside. Tessie New. Back to back doubles for young Tessie. They're putting on a show for Brisbane. The fans are out. The sun is out. And the form has been found. Yeah, it's that man again, Anthony Milford, just drifts on this pass from Kelly. He actually, Kelly puts it out there and he drifts on it. Some great feet and then explodes through the hole and finds his fullback. Watch this pass. He drifts on the out. Too good for best. Farnworth into an upright and away. He's very much a utility option for Adam O'Brien. Here he is to Clifford, another grubber, chasing hard, it is Jack Johns who gets there first and comes up claiming the try. The try is awarded Jack Johns, given his first NRL start and he gets his first NRL try. Yeah, what a day for the boy, he's waited a long time for this opportunity and as the coach said, he's just worked so hard this year. This will make the score a little bit better. Yeah, 34-16. If they can keep Brisbane to 34 and skew a few, score a few more tries themselves, then you're right from the halves to the forward pack. Now Brody Jones pulling free of the tackle, Brody getting the ball away. Randall goes in now. Chris Randall gets his second try of the season. Back to back for Newcastle. Yeah, and well deserved. It's a really hard job. What Randall has to do, he's playing behind, you know, a first class hooker in Jaden Braley. But when he gets his opportunity, every time he does a fantastic job. Only his second start this year. You're right, Corey. A moment ago, we were talking about Brisbane targeting 50 points. Now they've got to focus on targeting a win again to Milford now. Milford holds the ball. Support on the inside. Kelly pulled down from behind. It was Bradman Best doing so desperately. Anthony Milford shooting for one point, aiming for a field goal as a farewell play to Brisbane. He salutes. And Brisbane go further ahead, 35-22. Definitely score points, but they need to hold them out and defend well. Big games, you need to defend well. They conceded six tries so far, Newcastle. Herbie Farnworth landing five of six shots at goal. Anthony Milford, his only field goal attempt was successful. So there's a rundown of the 80 minutes we've seen to finish Brisbane's season and send Newcastle into the finals. Here's Best blowing past one. It was Albert Kelly in his wake, still running Best. Solo puts it down. Look at the man who stops him. Maybe his final play as an NRL player, summing him up perfectly. Alex Glenn, it's been some career. It's going to finish with a win as full time sounds in the background. And Brisbane, their seventh win of the campaign. And the curtain falls on that man, a real favourite at Brisbane, admired across the league. Alex Glenn goes out a winner 35 22.